Hello, today I'm going to walk you through Losan Edge Compute. Losan Edge Compute uses the same workflow engine that you know and love and extends this functionality down to the edge. With Edge Compute, you can deploy logic directly to your Edge devices and execute this logic on the device itself. This gives you the ability to spread your logic across the cloud and Edge, giving you the most flexibility and control within your IoT application. To demonstrate Edge Compute, we have a kegerator with a banner temperature and humidity sensor installed inside, a banner wireless controller, and a Raspberry Pi. Here is how the system works. The banner wireless controller reads sensor data from the remote sensor in the kegerator, then exposes that information to my local network over my bus TCP. After that, the Raspberry Pi acts as a gateway that can then read the Modbus TCP endpoint and report the temperature and humidity data to the LoSense cloud. Just to be clear, the banner and Raspberry Pi used here are just examples. LoSense Edge Compute supports many different gateways and sensors. Okay, using Edge Compute only requires four steps. One, we need to create an Edge Compute device within LoSense. Two, we also need to create an access key in secret to authenticate our device. Three, we need to install the Edge Agent. Four, we need to deploy an Edge workflow. Now, let's walk through these steps and learn how Edge Compute works. First, we're going to create some devices in Losan. Our example includes two devices, a kegerator and a Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is where we will deploy our Edge workflows because it is the gateway reading local Modbus. The Raspberry Pi will be our Edge compute device. Let's create it within Losent. Let's name our device Raspberry Pi Gateway. And then give it the type of Edge compute. Next, we need to create a device for the kegerator. The kegerator is a peripheral device because it's not directly connected to LoSant and the Raspberry Pi is reporting on its behalf. We also want to give the kegerator device two attributes, temperature and humidity, to describe what data this device is capturing. Now, on the step two. Let's create an access key in secret. This is to properly authenticate our devices to LoSan. We can easily make new keys by opening up the security tab in the application menu. Then select add access key. Now you will have the option to give these keys a description and even restrict access to certain devices. Once done, just press create access key. Then you'll see a pop-up that will give you your newly created keys make sure to download these or copy them to a safe place. We'll need them later. On to step three. Now we need to install and run the Edge Agent on the Raspberry Pi. Remember, Losent Edge Compute works by deploying Edge workflows to your devices. In order to receive, process, and manage these workflows on the device, the Losent Edge Agent must be installed. For ease of use, our Edge agent is shipped as a Docker container, so we'll need to install Docker and pull the Losan Edge agent. However, in this video, I won't be covering the installation steps in detail, but we have all the steps and examples outlined within the Losan documentation. Once we have Docker and the Losan Edge agent image, we can run the agent with one simple Docker command. As you can see from this command, I am passing in a config file to the Docker container. In this config file is the device ID, access key, and secret you created earlier. This is needed to properly connect our device to LoSant. Once the container is running, we can go back to the LoSant platform and then to your device. There you should be able to see that your Edge device is now successfully connected to LoSant. We are now done with step three. For the last step, we can create a new workflow by going to workflow in the application menu. 
you'll see that you have the option to choose between a cloud and edge workflow. Let's choose edge and name it read kegerator modbus. Now, Let's create a simple workflow to read sensor values every minute with Modbus. To accomplish this, we need to use three nodes, a timer node, a Modbus read node, and a debug node. The timer node gives us the ability to trigger this workflow on a specific time interval. So once deployed to the Raspberry Pi, this workflow will trigger once a minute. Next, we can add a Modbus read node to read the banner wireless controller via Modbus TCP. Here, we can input all of our accurate Modbus TCP settings to connect and read from the controller. In this case, we need to read from three holding registers to receive humidity and temperature. Lastly, we can add a debug node. This node allows us to see the output of the workflow in the debug panel here to the left. With this workflow you see here, we should be able to read Modbus every minute and see the output in the debug panel. The only thing that's left now is to deploy our new workflow, but first we must save it. To do so, just press save. To deploy, we must first version our workflow. Losan keeps track of every version of every workflow deployed to edge compute devices. By default, we use this date timestamp as the version name. I'm going to keep this here. Last, we need to choose our edge device to deploy to and then press deploy version. Behind the scenes, the Losan edge agent is listening and waiting to receive and deploy new workflows. Best case, a workflow will be successfully deployed to an edge compute device within a few seconds. We can always check our deployment tab to see the status of our deploy. Once we deploy this workflow to the Raspberry Pi, it will immediately start to execute the workflow. Then within the next few minutes, you'll see a successful debug reading as the output of your workflow. Now, let's talk about some next steps. In this video, the goal was to explore Losan Edge Compute and deploy a workflow. Next, we need to report our data to the cloud. This can easily be done with the device state node. You can find the rest of these walkthrough instructions within the Losan docs. If you have any questions, the forums are a great place to get help. That's all for this video. Thank you and enjoy.